Aaron, before the game, you said this team still controls its own destiny, but with the way they have been playing and just 22 games left remaining, do you feel like your playoff chances are starting to slip away? No, no, absolutely not. I mean, we just had a horrible homestand. It's not, it's not okay. You know, we're pissed off about it. Um, but we've, we've been through this throughout the season. We're up against it again. Um, and we look forward to going out and, and turning this around tomorrow. We know it can turn just as quick as it's, it's gone sideways here over the last 10 days or so. Um, no, absolutely. We expect to, to get it rolling. Um, obviously, <laughs> we need to, it, it needs to happen, um, but we're in control of that. When you look back at, at the last 10 games, almost two weeks now, just wh why do you think it has gone sideways so quickly? Um, well, I mean, overall, we've, we've struggled offensively to, to consistently put up runs when we've needed to. You know, obviously, we've had some key guys go down, you know, <clears throat> and, and, you know, some guys have to leave games. So, you know, we've been a little thin bullpen-wise and, and had to lean on a lot of guys. So, you know, but that's part of it. I mean, that's part of the attrition, the adversity you're going to face in a major league season. And you got to be able to navigate through it and, and survive some of the tough times. And obviously we're doing that right now, but, um, you know, I have a ton of confidence in, in, in that group in there and, uh, you know, understand it's been bad this week, but you know, we've got a great opportunity in front of us and that, that's not going to change after tomorrow or the next day. And, and, and you'll get the same answer. Aaron, you mentioned that bullpen and how thin you guys have been back there lately. Score tied at two apiece. You decided to go to Sal Romano. Any consideration to using Chad Green in that situation to try to keep it even? No, no. We're, I was going to close with Greeny today if, if I got to that point. Um, no, Sal was up here. We liked the matchup, him against righties. Um, and, and really, you know, he co goes out there and he's two quick outs. He's two strikes to Jansen and hangs a slider. You know, going through the bottom of the order there, we like the matchup. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, hits the next guy and, and then uh, Bo breaks his bat to drive one in. But, no, not, not in that spot. We we're lined up there to go Jordan, you know, and then some com combination of, of Wandy and Greeny. The idea of closing with Greeny, is that a product of Chapman being ineffective or no. available or both? No, j just Chappie was available, but I was going to be a little careful tonight. And, and, if, and if I got to the end of the game with Wandy or Greeny tonight, I would have closed with one of them tonight. Other questions? Anyone else? Eric Bolin. Aaron, can you afford to keep running Haney out there? Yeah, I mean we we have to. We have to. We have to. Uh, there's going to be days we got to get something out of everyone, Eric. I mean, you you cover us every day. Um, you know what we've been up against this week, and the bottom line is, like it's been, you know, as when we started to play better baseball and. It's taken everyone. It's taken all 28, and certainly that's the case right now. Um, so there's going to be days where, you know, we have to lean on somebody else in a given situation. Um, you know, so yes. Is he? Did you see anything confidence-wise with him? You know, just, you know, I know he's had the, the good outing against Boston. He's had some moments here and there, but it just seems like things don't go his way when he's out there. Did yeah, I mean, use? yeah, I mean, it's a, it's been a, it's been a lot, little bit of product of, you know, he's been hurt obviously with the long ball. He's been hurt in some two-strike situations where he hasn't put a guy away or he hasn't executed a pitch. Um, but the ball's coming out how it should. Um, you know. It, but but again, it's it's about execution, especially in those two strike situations where he's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble. Dan Martin, you have the next question. 
Aaron, I know it's tough with the way the lineup and the, your defense is situated right now, but do you, do you want to try to find uh, more at-bats for Voight at this point? Of course. Yeah. I mean, we've I've been able to, for the most part, through this stretch, you know, he's gotten a lot of a lot of time in there and pretty much pinch hit every day. So I feel like he has been getting somewhat regular at bats, but of course. And and again, I'd go to I think you understand the situation and now we're going into a national league situation where we're not gonna have a DH, so it makes it a little bit more challenging, but um it also gives us more good options uh from a pinch hit standpoint going into this weekend from a national league setting. But, you know, yeah, of course.